Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Are you guys ready to try out some stuff from TikTok shop? Because I'm sick of buying everything off there to see if it works. So I figured I'd film a video doing it. We're actually already trying out one product that I bought off of there and it's this Heatless Curls, which we're gonna jump into first because I wanna take this out of my hair. It's been in my hair for five and a half hours. Not me having my lunch all over me. Pretend that's not there. I've had this in for five and a half hours, so I think it's enough time for it to do something. So we're gonna check it out, but be sure to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. We're always reviewing the viral stuff to see if it's worth your coin. So you don't have to spend your coin, let me spend mine and we'll try it out together. We're gonna go ahead and roll the TikTok with the Heatless Curler Scrunchie. Okay guys, we're gonna attempt to use our sippy tie. So this is what it looks like. One side's super elastic-y and then the other side's like this. I need to watch the video again to see what side she got her hair twisted around it. First, I have long hair, so I'm gonna need to brush it really well so we don't have any tangles going into it. And then I'm probably gonna leave my bangs out because I don't really want those to be involved in all the volume. So let me watch that video. Rewatch the video. This is the part she twists the hair around. So let me flip my head upside down. I'll be right back. Okay, gonna get the bangs out. I'm gonna put this on my hair. And then this part we wrap. Oh my God, these are all, they always make these look way easier than what they are. I'm gonna just start with that around the town. We're in, we are wrapped in, and now she took the loose part and just went over it once to secure it, which actually, okay, this was like not that hard. <gasps> wow, that was so easy. Okay, and like, this is not gonna fall out of my hair. I may probably pin it down like in two places, but I'll report back. Wait, is this kind of a hair look? <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's like a visco girl, like bun. I'll be back after a long, long time to see if this actually worked. But how easy was that? That was probably the easiest heatless hair thing I've, oh, the instructions were in there. Give you the instructions, so. This girl! Okay, I'll be back. Just wanted to give you guys a close up of the sleepy tie. It's bomb, look how tight my hair is in there. Okay, we're back. As you can see, I got it in my hair so easy. I have never been able to successfully really do the heatless curls. I mean, sleeping in them is just not realistic for me because every time I would try something, I would wake up without it in my hair. In my sleep, I just take it out because it's not comfortable and it's just like crazy. This, I cannot even fill it in my hair and it was the easiest, most sturdiest thing I've used yet. It better do something because I do want to try this again overnight. So let's go ahead and take it out. There we go. And now we're just gonna take the hair out. Oh, it feels good to take it down. Oh, it feels so good taking my hair down. <laughs> straight as a board. I mean, listen, I definitely see some volume through the layers in my hair, but why did that not work? I will say I blow dried my hair straight, so maybe I shouldn't have done that to begin with. Maybe I'll try it out again to see if it works another time. As of right now, nothing happened. I've tried the heatless stuff before and I feel like I've gotten more volume than this. I'm kind of sad, first of all, and second of all, I want to try it again because I was able to use it so easily that I don't understand what happened. <laughs> Maybe I need to leave it in for eight hours instead of five and a half. But you know, you would have thought I would have gotten more than this. Wow, my hair is really in its sleek era. It said, we are absolutely not gonna be giving you anything today, honey. Our next TikTok is gonna be on the Wow Color Shine Spray. You spray it on the brush, you brush it through your hair, your hair is supposed to look super healthy, super glossy, super shiny. So we're gonna try that out. Let's go ahead and roll that TikTok. This is it. it, is the shine spray. So the way they use it, if you can see my hair now, this is what it looks like. So we're gonna do this side, but they sprayed the brush. They just brushed it through the hair. Did that really make it, let's, let's apply it to the hair. I feel like I see it getting shiny. Oh yeah. Well, I see the shine through here big time. I feel like if you're not careful, this stuff can make your hair look greasy and you don't want to get it towards the root. But I definitely see the shine. Nothing too crazy. Extra mystical shine spray. I feel like it works, especially if you're feeling like your hair is looking pretty dull. I think the hairbrush is a lot. Oh yeah, see, it looks kind of greasy through here. Maybe I just need to wash my hair, but I definitely see the shine more now. It's kind of like it's settling in. I kind of see it big time now. But anyways, this product's actually 
actually pretty cool. Like if you feel like your hair is dull and you really want that glossy, shiny, sleek look, especially if you like strained your hair and then sprayed this over it, I feel like it worked. I have used this before actually, and I do like it. It is a subtle difference. It's not like anything crazy, but it is nice to add a little bit of a glossing to your hair. And I forgot to mention this was $30. I'm gonna give it another go so I can get my $30 out of it. What is next on our agenda? Well, Elf came out with their new cream blushes. Some people say they're a dupe for the Rare, Rare Beauty ones. I don't really know if they're a dupe, but I do know a lot of the stuff Elf comes out with, like majority of it, I fall deeply in love with. So I'm thinking I'm gonna like these. If you can see my face looks kind of like plain today because I did not add any highlight contour or blush because I wanted to try these for you guys. So let's go ahead and roll the TikTok on the Elf cream blushes. Elf came out with liquid blushes. <sighs> Oh my gosh, it's so pigmented. And it goes on like butter. I love that. Okay, we're back and I bought two colors. Wow, these look really good. They look like they're in quite large size packaging. I bought Pinky Promise, which is the pink and coral crush, which is obviously the coral. This is what they look like. They actually have really sleek, pretty packaging. I wanna try this pink one first right here. It comes on a doe foot applicator like this. It's kind of like a thicker doe foot. So I'm gonna start with two drops because we all know how cream blushes go. They girly. Sometimes they can be a little too pigmented. So I'm gonna take this small blender. Oh my, see, we knew, we knew. These are like the, oh, I should have done one drop. You guys, these are insane. Oh, off of what, two drops? Oh my God, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to really go in to work this in, you guys. Do not go heavy handed with this. You are warned here first. I know the Cameo Concealer has a really heavy pigmented thick consistency to it. So these are the Cameo blushes. So I feel like they kind of fall right in line. I mean, they're beautiful. Two drops covered my whole face essentially, but they're too, too pigmented. Like you've got to really just use a touch. Knowing that if you just use a drop, like they're stunning and they feel very lightweight for a cream blush. Some cream blushes are a little too greasy. They're a little too heavy. When you blend these out, they, they kind of feel like nothing on your skin. It's really pretty. One of the most pigmented liquid blushes I've ever used. They do remind me of the Rare Beauty ones. Let's try the coral one out on this side, but we're only gonna do one drop, so we're not getting too crazy. Okay, here we go, one drop. That's all you need. How crazy is that? This will last you for a lifetime, truly. You don't even need to break your bank. You don't need to buy more. Oh, the one drop was the perfect amount. I knew it. And the coral is just gorgeous. So this is what two drops look like, but this was heavily blended. Just remember like heavily blended. And then that's one drop. Like I feel like I was able to just disperse it in this small area and it blended out perfectly. This one's a little warmer. I see, I like both on my skin tone. So I'm really happy I went with both of these colors. But overall, these are stunning. First impressions, I'm very impressed and will for sure be using these over and over and over again. I think they're so pretty. By the way, I did not tell you guys, these were $7 each. So very affordable. I forgot to mention the price. So so for our next item, it's a vanity light up mirror and it kind of felt like it was too good to be true because I paid $155 for it. So I remember back in my time, like vanities like this will cost you $500 to $1,000. Let's roll the TikTok on the vanity and then we'll insert the footage of me getting it so you can see what I actually got for $155. All right, guys, Ty is putting together the vanity. Did it come with the lights already in it? Yeah. Okay, that's pretty nice. I can't wait to plug it up and see. This thing was only, I'll have to look at the price. I'll let you guys know, but it wasn't that expensive. So I was sus on how nice it was gonna be. Oh my goodness. How easy was the assembly? Literally just had to connect the base to the mirror and that's it. Wow, really this is easy. so it nice. Also, it changes like tents. Oh and gosh. then you can like adjust like the brightness of it. Well. Okay, and then it comes with this little mirror, little yeah, magnifying little mirror. mirror. Wow, this is so nice. I gotta say, we it's have not a very heavy either. It's really? Heavy enough to like for it to be sturdy, but Dang. not like crazy. Okay, you guys, we got a new vanity in the house. That's Where nice. I have no idea. Next on the agenda is a very interesting product that I've seen all over TikTok. It is a sunscreen that comes in this pharmaceutical bag. But what's so interesting about this sunscreen? It's kind of like whipped cream. Whenever I do my get readies with me, people are always like, why the f are 
are you putting whipped cream on your face? It's sunscreen! The only sunscreen that doesn't make my skin break out. I genuinely have fun putting this on, but I feel like it's not a chore. Like, it also gives me a glow. Just Google Vacation Classic Whip SPF 30. We're about to try out the sunscreen that is made in a whipped form while I don't have my face makeup on. I think I should shake it. It doesn't say to shake it, so maybe I shouldn't have, but it says it's water resistant up to 80 minutes since the sunscreen mousse SPF 30. So we're just gonna pop the top by pressing. Oh my gosh, it's really like a whipped cream can. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna put some on. Oh, that's so cool. It feels just like whipped cream. It's really light and frothy. When I rub it in, it turns into like a lotion. Wow, and it is like really clear on my skin. Mm, it smells like the Vacation Brands fragrances. It smells so good. <sighs> you guys, my new favorite way to apply sunscreen. How amazing is this? I love the way it feels. I am immediately liking the texture because it kind of just turns into, I mean, it's a little messy. I'm not gonna lie. Like you're gonna get sunscreen kind of everywhere, but it turns into like this beautiful like lotion that feels so good on the skin. And I wear sunscreen every day. So this is my new favorite, maybe. Wow. I do feel like, you know, again, it's pretty messy unless you just dilute it down into your hands first. I'm gonna do my makeup with it. It says on here in the instructions, oh, it says to use shake vigorously. So I did that right. It says turn the can upside down and tilt the nozzle. I'm pretty sure I did that right. Start with a ping pong ball amount. And then it says you also need to rinse or wipe any excess off the cap before you close it up. And then that's it. Wow, okay. Well, my skin feels really good. I mean, it feels not lightweight. Like it definitely feels like I put an actual moisturizer on my skin, but it did like dilute down and melt into my skin, leaving no residue, almost leaving my skin looking a little bit glow it smells so good. It smells like the, okay, this vacation brand. I have some products from them that are SPF, but they're like glowy stuff for your body. And I'm obsessed, but they also make a perfume because their scent is so popular and it's called the vacation perfume. I have that as well. So this smells just like all their stuff. It smells like the perfume. I think this is just like a really fun way to apply sunscreen. So originally whenever I bought this, I didn't know that it was the vacation brand. I just thought it was from some random brand. And when it came in, in the vacation bag, I was like, what is that? And I pulled it out, I was like, oh my God, I didn't realize that it was a sunscreen. And look, it's available at Ulta. Here's the fragrance I'm talking about. And then these are the sunscreens that I have already tried from vacation and the Body Glow that I love so much. You guys, this brand, I do feel like it is drying down into my skin and it almost feels like I have nothing on now. I can see myself using this over and over again. I really like it. While it seems like it might be a gimmick because it's like, whipped cream sunscreen and that seems kind of silly it actually is such a nice product and i really enjoyed using it so you guys are going to see me using this over and over again i love sunscreen i incorporate it on my skin every single day of the week even if it's rainy i add it within my moisturizer it's so important and the sun creates more damage than you can ever imagine it is not repairable regardless of how much surgery fillers and botox you get the sun damage is a different level of damage so it's so important to find a sunscreen you like didn't think i was going to like this one I was very, very, very surprised. Next item I actually haven't tried yet. They are sea moss gummies. Sea moss is like all the rage because of the multi health benefits you can get out of just taking one spoonful of sea moss a day. However, sea moss is disgusting. I've bought multiple different types from Erewhon and a couple different stores, and I think they're all really gross. And apparently, I'm not the only one that thinks that. So, this company, Ashka, I don't know how to pronounce it, they created a gummy out of it where you can just chew a gum make it super easy, but we'll go ahead and roll that TikTok. These are the Akasha Superfoods Organic Sea Moss Gel Gummies. Taking sea moss is a struggle for you. They taste like berries, very similar to Scooby-Doo fruit snacks that we used to eat growing up. I've definitely seen improvements in my skin since using these, so cheers. Take your glow gummies. So on it, it says it's glow time. It says our gummies feature a blend of powerful ingredients. Irish sea moss, 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 Pearl powder, vitamin C, vitamin E, aloe vera, which works, I don't know that word, together to promote healthy skin. So it's all about the skin, soy free, gluten free, gelatin free, made in the USA. Wow, they look disgusting. I'm not gonna lie. Like that to me looks like little booger cubes. <gasps> Ooh, they're super gummy. Ooh, they're like kind of crusty. Like whenever you, they turn white whenever you squeeze them. You see that? Like, <sighs> okay, let's try it. I really hate trying nasty food, so. 
By the way, I got my um, ocean berry. And you get 30 in a pack. You're supposed to have two. Okay, listen, it's not bad. My face says otherwise, it's really not bad. It's like such a hunky texture. And like the first hit you get like grass and like the moss, but after you burst into it and really start chewing, all the berry flavor comes out. So it just tastes kind of like a sweet treat after that. It's just the initial first hit. I will say <laughs> this does taste about a million times better than the spoonfuls of the actual moss. So I do feel like they have figured out a way to simplify it and to get it into your system through a gummy. But just like it's creepy and the first initial hit is like, <clears throat> Sea moss is definitely one of those things where I feel like it's like the craze right now, but like in a year or two, we're not gonna hear anything about it. Why not get your vitamin C through sea moss gummies? I'm gonna give this like an eight out of 10. They're not great, they're not bad. And you know what sea moss is? It's terrible. All right guys, for our next item, this is one of the craziest items I have ever tried. It is called Ting, and it's essentially the craziest body foundation ever. Do you see how this product, they're claiming it's waterproof, the full coverage of it all, it kind of looks like painted on pantyhose. Like it's so intense. This is way more intense than a full coverage foundation. So I've never used a product that's like this intense. It gagged me. Water transfer proof body makeup. It also gave me an instant tan, but I will say you better get it on even because it's so full coverage that if like you miss a big spot, you're gonna be in trouble. And it does have a little bit of dry time, not long at all, but you know, once you put it on, you're gonna wanna wait a second or two before you put your clothes on or else you're gonna have this stuff everywhere and I do believe it stains. So let me insert the footage of me trying it out. Okay, this is my leg. This is the tink. We're gonna try the ting on my leg. I have a little bit of sun damage and ingrown hair some spots. So we're gonna see what my leg looks like after this. We're gonna compare the difference and then I'm gonna spray my leg in the bathtub to see if it comes off. But let's apply it first. By the way, guys, I have the shade tan neutral, which I think is slightly too tan for me. But let's just see. Ooh, that looks like straight up full coverage foundation. <laughs> Oh my God. Whoa, this is the thickest stuff ever. I got it all over my pants. I, I used a couple pumps and it was too much. <laughs> oh my God. Yo, my leg looks like it's made of plastic. <laughs> it doesn't even look like a real leg. Wow. It does make such a big difference. It's actually really messy. I wonder if there's like a big foundation brush I should have used with it. It is the most full coverage by stuff. It literally looks like I'm wearing stockings. It's really wet right now. I think it needs to dry down before we add water to see if it's really waterproof. But this is like way more full coverage than even a foundation would be. Here's a close up so you guys can see the crazy difference. It looks like peanut butter but this is the crazy difference. Wow, an instant tan as well. That's crazy. Okay, I just wanna show you guys how waterproof this is. This is really hot water too. It just beats right off. How am I supposed to get this off my body? Okay, just showing you guys, my leg looks like crazy, the coverage on it. I'm gonna turn the water on and show you. Do you see how it just kind of beads up and like doesn't really wash off? <laughs> Y'all, that is crazy. It works so well. Like if it was coming off, you would see, you know, a muddy color in the water. And this water is really hot too. So in order to get it off, I'm probably gonna have to use my makeup eraser and some cleansing balm. Okay, were you guys not gagged at how intense and crazy and true this was? It really is super, super, super water resistant. Even me trying to wash it off my hands. Maybe it wasn't coming off, it wasn't going nowhere. I had to use a makeup remover with some oil in it. I had to use some makeup wipes. I had to do it all. So I feel like the real challenge with this stuff is getting it off rather than putting it on. I feel like it would be nice if you had a little body brush to put it on with so you don't have it all over your hands. But the hands did work really well in making it really smooth and natural looking on my skin. Sometimes your hands are your best tools. $44, so it's more of a high-end product. It's not like super cheap or anything like that, but the bottle was huge and I will say the amount I used was so tiny. Again, I feel like this is like the elf cream blushes. I literally feel like it would last forever. So it's a 10 out of 10 to me. Next product is a beauty product by Tarte. So as you guys know, the Maracuja 
juicy lip plump hit the internet. It's essentially like a solid lip gloss. Like if you were able to solidify a lip gloss and put it in a tube, that's what they did with these at Tarte. So they made a sparkly version. We're gonna go ahead and roll the TikTok so you can see how magnificent it looks in the advertisement. So as you can see, it looked pretty crazy good. I bought the shade Pink Shimmery Glass and we're gonna try this out on my lips to see how it actually looks outside of daylight in the flash. Like, is it gonna look crazy? And then we'll put the flash on it to see if it really looks that cool and glittery. Let's try it out. Now, to get that sparkle, I think you're gonna have to hit it with a flash on the camera to really get that, like you saw on the TikTok, like the glistening of the sparkle. So I will do that at the end. Oh my God. Okay, to get that in sparkle result, I'll show you after we put it on. But I picked mine up in this shade in pink shimmer glass. This is the Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump. Let's try it out. It comes in their classic packaging. And I thought the pink, oh, the pink is so pretty. I thought the pink color would be the one. You know what I mean? The one, the one, the one. Okay, we pumped her up like that. Do you guys see that sparkle in there? So now we're gonna apply her to my lips. Let's do it. You know what the thing is about these? You cannot press down hard and I forgot that and I was really getting in there because they're like a solid lip gloss and you will break off half your product onto your lip if you're not careful like I just did. Just waste it like 10 uses. So let me show you what your lips are gonna look like when you're not in the sunlight or you don't have a flash on your lips. They just look shimmery. It just kind of look like you have on this like shimmery gloss. It's pretty. I like it. I like the pink color. I feel like, you know, I've had all my glam on and my hair not in a heatless curl thing. It could be really pretty, but it's just a shimmer. So I think now what we need to do is do it with a flash to really see if it sparkles like it did in the TikTok. Cause this, it's not it. All right, here's the flash. Am I sparkling or no? Mm -hmm. Okay. I see the sparkle with the flash. I also think they would be a little more glistening and really pretty in the sunlight. So, whoa, look at that. These are really cool. I think I'm gonna have to give them a 10 out of 10 too. I like the original one. So the sparkle's cool. It looks better with the flash than it does in regular daylight, but guys. I'm into it. Okay, so as you can see, they look really, really, really cool. Like undeniably, they're $24 each, so they are quite pricey. And if you do press down on them, you've wasted half of your product. So I know a lot of people always complained about that, but you just can't go in heavy handed with these. Again, you have to think of it as like a solid lip gloss. I do prefer the other ones without the glitter better because it just makes your lips look super, super shimmery whenever you don't have the flash or like a specific daylight, like sunlight on your lips. It just looks like a super shimmery gloss. So I do prefer the other ones, but these are really cool. And I feel like it could be a moment with the flash. So I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 because I feel like, you know, once I got the flash on it, the advertisement did look pretty accurate. Moving on. So we all know about the Alex Earl light. This thing is huge. And the point being is they're now advertising this one for, and this one costs $1. Okay, we're talking $1. It's rechargeable. It's a little mini light. And the claim is, we'll roll the TikTok. But the claim is, is that it's essentially the same thing. So let's go ahead and roll that TikTok. This right here is the best $1 I've ever spent. Currently, I'm using my Alex Erlite, which I absolutely love, but obviously it's too big to take anywhere. This right here is a solution. I just toss it in my bag. It's literally the size of my fingers. It has three different light settings. And look, I just put it on my phone and it's amazing. And as you saw how great she looked with this little bitty light, these are quite intrusive in your purse. They take up all the space in your pockets, your bag is carrying this around all night. It's a little excessive, but it does give you the best pictures and video footage. So we're gonna try these two out, but I wanna compare the two so you can really see like which one's worth your money. I believe I paid around between 20 and 30 bucks for this one off Amazon. This one was literally a dollar and some change, okay? A dollar and some change. So is it worth the dollar? Let me show you. So this would be the worst lighting ever. It's backlit, it's grainy, it doesn't look good. I bought this little mini version of the Alex Earl light. So we're about to try it out and see the big difference. So here we are in our nasty lighting. But what I'm gonna do is compare it to the original one, which is much bigger. I think this one's gonna be a lot better than this little guy, but we'll only know if we try it out. So let me clip it onto my phone. Three settings. <gasps> 
The brightest setting is shockingly good. I would say it's definitely worth it because like carrying out a light this big every time you go out, it's kind of obnoxious. And it does take up all the space in my clutch, even though I take this one out with me all the time. That's how I get the good lighting in my pictures. This one is literally like the size of, I don't know. It's not big though, you could fit it anywhere. Way more convenient than the Alex Earl lights, like the new version of it, because it's so tiny. I do love the lighting. So you see me in this lighting, here I am without it. Horrible! <laughs> I'm so dramatic. Okay, let me clip this one onto my phone. Let's see the difference. Okay, this one is a warm tone. Hold on, let me change the setting. I'm gonna turn it all the way up. Wow. <laughs> I would definitely say, okay, this is like the same tone lighting as the mini one and I got it turned all the way up. I would say this one's obviously better because it's so much bigger. So it just depends on what you want. So this is the Alex Earl Light original, lightest, brightest white setting turned to the highest degree and it literally looks so good. Okay, this is me without it. And then here goes me with the mini. This is what the mini gives. This is what the big one gives. Whoa, okay, wow. <laughs> the Alex Earl like original makes the biggest difference, I'll say, but the mini, like this is what the mini is giving. I think it's at the lower. No, that was the highest, okay. You know, it does something. Oh, it does something. It's not as bright, but I think it's worth the money like with the main Alex Earl, with just the mini. With the main Alex Earl, with just a mini. They're both good. So it just depends on like how big of a light you're trying to carry out and about. I'll definitely be using this one now. I'll be taking it places with me whenever I don't have a lot of pocket space or a lot of space in my bag. So I think it's worth the coins, honey. Get the mini. Okay, the next item, y'all. Went through the gigs. It looked a little too good to be true on TikTok, but it's these little rubber French tips. So you put them on the tip of the nail and you're able to create this perfect painted French French tip with very little effort because these oop, help you do it. So I bought them. Roll that takes off. Guys, because I have on my nails, we are going to do the French tip on Ty's nails. And what's cool, I didn't realize about these, they actually come apart, so no matter how wide your fingers are, the French tip thing will fit your nail. So we'll have to do something like, probably like that on this crusty nail. Uh, I've been in the market for French tips, guys. So you have. This is perfect. And I'm pretty sure everyone has Dr. Pepper nail polish. So we're gonna be using that white and we're gonna be creating a perfect French tip. They do give you this and the brush and then instructions on the pad. Let me attempt to see if these work or if they're a gimmick. It gives you this little brush to put the color on so you have, you know, it doesn't go everywhere. And I think the way this is gonna work is if I press it down so that way the color doesn't bleed everywhere. Wow. Are you supposed to get it on my skin? Shh. How do you do it? You know, if you're gonna give me French tips, give me good French tips. Okay. Man. We're gonna have to go in with this brush to, yeah, see that's, oh. <laughs> Guys, it's been a really long time since I've painted now. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take some acetone and clean up his edges. <laughs> okay, wait, let me try another one. You're done, nail. you're fired. No, let me try another one. <laughs> Chance. Like, your nail? What's wrong with my nail? I'm about to try my own. Let's see if we can French tip these long nails, cause I can just wipe it off. Are you ready? Keep your nail there. So if I'm seriously trying to French tip these long nails like that, and I remove that. No. Do you guys see oh. how in the corner right there, it doesn't lay flat regardless of how hard you press. And then these are even smaller than that one. So I don't really know how this is supposed to work, but I'm gonna try again. I will say, I think it'd probably be just easier to do a French tip with a brush, free-handed. Call me crazy, but. Like it's already, look, as soon as I lift it, it's everywhere. I'm struggling with these. I think they're kind of a gimmick, even with my, my nails that are smaller. I feel like it just, see, I feel like that's how you're gonna get a good French tip. It's just by cleaning it up with a brush. 
Y'all, I don't understand. I'm gonna scan this and I'm gonna watch the video, but I'm pretty sure I'm using it how they did in the TikTok. I watched the video and we did it correctly. I wanna try again on my nails because it seems like it only works on whenever you have longer nails, not nails that, you know, their Short skin, stubby. yeah, like their skin showing, like it doesn't work on like a natural nail like that. It's like the nail has to come off the nail bed for it to work. So I really wanna try it again on my nail. So Girl. let's- Put an acrylic on me. Girl, I will. So let me do like the smallest one. See, I think that's the only way it works. Like you have to have a very specific nail going on and then you have to use their little brush. So I'm going to do that. I would say these are a flop though, whether this works or not. Like this is so hard and not realistic. Okay, very gently. I did it, but look, you can already see it just like did not work. <laughs> Do you see how like, regardless, it doesn't work. Like it would just be so much easier to do the French by okay. wetting a brush in acetone and then cleaning it. I don't know, like that or something. It's enough for me, dog. Zero out of 10. Mm -hmm. These were 19 bucks, 20 bucks. So they really weren't that crazy in price. However, as you saw, they just didn't work. Your nail definitely has to be off of the nail bed. Like you have to have a longer nail to use these. You cannot do these with short nails. And so I did it on my nails and it worked better, but like realistically, it's kind of gimmicky. Like you would have to hold it, squeeze it down tight the entire time until after it dried. And even when I was painting it on, the paint was still just slipping underneath it, causing a big mess. It's just too good to be true. I do like the little brush they give you with it. I feel like that gave you a better chance of getting it right, but I feel like only a professional could possibly get these to work. I don't even know if a professional could. I'm not a professional, but just like the point is, is DIYing it at home and this to simplify the process. I felt like it did not work. It's flippity flop. I hate to knock something, but if it didn't work, it just didn't work. That's my truth on the nail tip things. All right, let's move on to a concealer brush that I have seen everyone, including their mother, advertising this concealer brush. And I'm like, there's no way the brush is magic. I love the person in the TikTok. Y'all check out her channel. Her name's Samantha and she has a really great YouTube channel. I'm seeing everyone hyping up this brush to blend out your concealer and I usually never use a brush. So we're gonna try it out today. It's kind of like slanted. It's supposed to make you never wanna go back. Why does that actually look so good? I'm bring it outwards a little bit. Why is that the most flawless under eye that I've had in a while? Okay, as you can see, her makeup turned out really pretty with this brush. So now let's insert the footage of me using the brush. I have so many brushes like this one. You know, I like them all pretty equally. I don't think it's like a specific brush that's changing the game. I more so think it's the product you're using. But this is a close-up of the brush. It has a nice angle to it and it is pretty dense, which makes it great for cream products. Super, super soft filling. And then there is the brand. I have a bazillion brushes that are similar to this. Let me pull a few just to show you. Okay. Okay, here's a few just to show you how, you know, this, it's like we hype things up on TikTok to make them super viral. And while they may work, it doesn't mean they're the end all be all. But so this is the brush with the angle. This is a Sephora version of it, the number 57, but it does not have the angle. I've used this brush for like 10 years now and I love it. Um, this one's almost identical by Hourglass. This is their concealer brush. They both have the angle. Mine's dusty and crusty because I love it. Do you see that? But I think this one's cheaper to be honest. And then you have this one. I think this one is an old one by Morphe, the M334. It's angled, but it is a different shape. As you can see, the angle is. Super similar. You're gonna get the same results. I even have this one by Huda Beauty. It's pretty much the same brush. But now that my point's made, let's go ahead and try a concealer. I wanted to try this brush so bad because I actually use a brush with my concealer because I use the NARS Potted Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Custard. So we're gonna apply some to this brush. Boom. And then we're gonna start to apply it. It is a really soft brush. I feel like it feels like identical to all my other brushes. So my thing is, I think it works really, really well in blending out your cream product, especially that under eye because of the angle on it. Super nice, super nice. But I do feel like there's like a million other brushes out there that are similar. So I don't think you have to get this one to have like a good concealer or a good blend out or a good concealer brush. However, I do think this is a good one. You know, if you're looking for something, it's just like kind of hyped up, you know, but it does work really well. So 
Yeah, I like it. I mean, it's just a little concealer brush. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I think it holds up and is very similar to all my other ones that have various price ranges, so. Angie's Hot and Flashy BK Concealer Brush. It's fabulous. Is it unique, never seen before, never used anything like this for? No, but it does work. This little brush was $24, which is similar to other high-end brushes, but I do feel like you could get something similar for cheaper. Okay, and our last product is this beanie, but it has a silk inside, so it keeps your hair from being a frizzy mess. Roll that TikTok. Hey y'all, so I make satin line beanies. They're great for hair protection. Let's just say you get braids or you get your hair done straight, curly, don't matter, take it off. Show them. Boom, it keeps your hair laid. All right, guys, we're gonna open it up. This is it right here. So it's kind of like the same theory. Like I always sleep with a silk pillowcase because it also is supposed to be very healthy and anti-frizz for your hair. And I do find that it makes a difference. So it only makes sense. Ooh, wow, this feels like really heavy and luxe. But it only makes sense for the inside of your beanie to be silk too. Honey, once I put something like this on my head, it is over for me. Like that's it, it's hat hair for life. So I feel, oh, it's cute. So this, I have really frizzy hair. Obviously, it's very sleek today. It didn't do anything in the heatless curls, but this is a really cute beanie, first of all, and I just feel like it's genius because, <laughs> that's my hair is like frizzed out. But I do feel like it's genius because, you know, you put a silk lining in something like this and hello, it's, it is, it's going to help with the frizz. It really is. It's gonna make a difference. Then putting like this side of cotton on your hair, it's gonna mush the hair. It's gonna make it extra frizzy. Since I switched switched over a couple years ago to silk only pillowcases. It makes a huge difference because I only wash my hair twice a week. So I'm always having to reuse my hair and I don't want it to get messed up in my sleep. So I do feel like these do make a huge difference. Also, I haven't worn a beanie in a minute and I feel like this one is really cute. It feels very luxe. Let me tell you what I paid for it. $29.99, not bad for how it feels, how it looks with the lining in it. I think it's pretty nice. I think it's worth the money and I love the concept. I love, it's an original idea, it's so good. And that's it for my TikTok shop stuff. So we, but we had some hits, we had some misses. One thing about TikTok shop is they made it a little too easy to buy stuff. I double click on my phone and the order is shipped. <laughs> I'm like, what happened, oh my God. I actually ordered, you know, like the gummies and a couple other things for this video for myself, not to even do this video, but I was like, I'll save them and include them in because I'll be buying everything off there. I need to get it under control. Also, all of this stuff shipped so fast. Like I thought it was gonna take, I was like, this is too good to be true. Like this is gonna take months to show up at my house. No, it literally showed up like anything else. Couple days it shipped, couple days it was at my house. Boom, done. They make it too easy. And I like that it's like brands that you've heard of before, like Tarte, Elf. They color wow and also new brands that we haven't ever heard before so TikTok shop is really cool however I will say the only thing that sucks about it is the algorithm so because I bought all this stuff off TikTok shop it makes your algorithm nothing but people trying to sell you stuff and I'm like please stop that is the only bummer about it so if you buy something off TikTok shop they'll never leave you alone they're gonna throw so much of that in your timeline and it literally drives me crazy because I'm just trying to laugh I'm trying to just scroll and find something funny to watch on TikTok so it does get a little annoying but other than that we did find some really unique super cool products and I gotta say majority of the stuff was a win and the prices were not terrible if you guys want to try it out you know it's on TikTok <laughs> I'll, I'll try to find everything and link it down below if I can and I love you guys thank you for being here and watching be sure and subscribe to my channel to join us here and you'll get a little notification whenever I upload if you turn your notifications on if not I'll be in your sub box waiting on you I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one Bye guys.